Oh, you're feeling nauseous? Well, just take your little pill that makes you feel better. Just kidding. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. This is coming to you same day. Starting our day right with uh, Mary's picking her meds, and we're actually headed out of the house into the rain. You can tell I have my raincoat on. Kind of a dreary morning, but Mary is going to meet up with a friend, and I'm going to hang out and get some work done while um, we're headed over to a coffee shop. And we had a good weekend. Yesterday uh, was Sunday and it turned into a day where we were going basically all day long, like running across town and uh, we had to drop some things off at people's houses and long story short, we got home last night and Mary goes, I could never have done this before Trikafta. Like, like, the amount of energy that we poured out yesterday. Well, that was uh, very momentous that Peter was about to say before dry cast, I never would have been able to keep up with all that. And the camera literally died at that moment. And um, that was a picture of me before Tricafta on you days we would had have a lot. run out of energy, out of battery, yes. as you would say. Um, I'm laughing because I just took my pills and one of them is the antibiotic that I take three times a week. And when I take it, I typically get nauseous from it. So I typically take Zofran with it. And this particular strip of Zofran is so hard to open. It is like a practical joke from the pharmaceutical company that they're like, oh, you're feeling nauseous. Well, just take your little pill that makes you feel better. Just kidding, it's so hard to get out. No, I'm not currently nauseous. I take it before that happens when I take Zithromax. But this one literally, like the tab, I think it is permanently in Zofran jail because I don't know if I'll ever be able to get it open. I mean, it gets desperate. I. Uh, maybe a week or two ago, I was trying to get a Zofran out. I was, I was nauseous at the moment, and I couldn't get this peeled. And I had to go to a different room and find another pack of Zofran because this was like not peeling in time. I, I've had so many moments where I've been fumbling to like Mary's nauseous, and I'm like, I'll get you Zofran, and I can't open them. And I, like, I legitimately. <laughs> Now I think they package it so that you can have it like in your pocket on the go. Probably. I'm guessing. But, so that makes sense. But like, wow, it would be a whole lot easier if it was in a pill bottle or yeah. something like that. Yeah, but I it's, think because these are oral disintegrating, uh, if it gets moisture on it, it's just gonna get gummy or weird or disintegrate. That's why. But, I've had some packages that are just easier than others. I just realized, sorry, I put you on the dashboard. It was probably like, Grr! but yeah. All right, well, here's our fall, probably close to the end of the fall leaves, especially after the rain and, oh, I was gonna say it's cold, but it's 54 degrees. That's not very cold. Happy Monday, everybody. Oh yeah, so I'm meeting a friend for coffee and I have, I've been pretty successful with not putting sugar in my coffee in the last few weeks. And I, but I have to have butter in it. And I've been using the like uh, Irish butter. And so I'm going to this coffee shop and I don't know if they're gonna have butter. So I'm bringing my own butter. Hey man. Okay, he got a phone call, bye. So what are our goals for the week? What are your goals for the week? Well. I was sorry, I was talking to them. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was also talking to you, so. You go first, and then you guys can write it in the comments what some of your goals are this week. Hmm. 
well to be thankful. Yes. To we're going to see our families. Yes. Do you have any goals? To be present. Mm. So yeah. traffic. Okay. Um, to be present. I think a lot of times in life. We talked about this earlier in the adoption process, the idea of waiting and that our brains often want to skip to the next part and they want what we're waiting for to be here and, and that sort of thing. And... Did you talk about the let's skip to no. the good part? <laughs> I was telling Peter the other day I've heard this song probably like on Facebook when they automatically give you their their version of TikTok. Tic Tac. Tic the Tic Tac. Um, it's the song that goes, let's skip to the good part. And then it basically skips forward to whatever the person is waiting for. If that's going to college, then all of a sudden they're in their dorm room or whatever it is, right? And I said, I kind of don't like that. I think that it causes us to be more prone to that hostility of the waiting. Waiting is just, it's a very natural part of life. It is a hard and natural reality. And... Yeah. The reality is there's no skipping in real life. Yeah. And and so if you aren't present in the moment of seasons of waiting or in just the mundane of life, you might skip or miss the goodness of that part. Yeah. So as we anticipate the arrival of our little baby, I want to be present in the now, in the, well, here we are just driving in the rain and it's not a bad moment just because we aren't at the most exciting moment coming up. It's just part of the journey. And so I want to be present. I want to not be hostile to the weight. And that is kind of a mental battle, I think. We're excited, of course we're excited. We're um, thankful and excited and hopeful and uh, you know, a whole list of things for the future. But for the now, we're thankful and um, I feel like it's sort of like a contemplative time. Like we're just thinking and praying and hoping and I don't know. I just wanna be present. I don't wanna waste the waiting. And I want to make the most of it. I want to continue to build on our relationship and not ignore building us as we anticipate welcoming another person in our family. And, and so I want this week, my goals are to be patient with myself and with others. And you never have to be patient with me, right? <laughs> Never. No, I've seriously learned so much patience from Peter being patient with me. So, it's a learning process. It's a growing process. I have goals in my life to go to the Durham Main Library. I have goals in my life, not this week, but I want to go to that library. I want to go to our closer library. <laughs> I'm just seeing goals all around me. <laughs> This is, these are good things. These are, those are good achievable goals right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good to have like an attainable goal and then yeah. like a lofty goal. Yeah. So like, go like, to the library. And like then... that's very quantifiable. Like being present is less like, yeah, yeah. Quanti can't quantify that. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we can go to the library sometime. <laughs> Then maybe we should just go to the library today to be like, we accomplished all our goals for the whole week. I do feel like we have 
I'm trying not to be well, and this is this is a good like. I'm glad you brought up these goals because part of me is like, okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit of stress because we're planning to travel tomorrow, and I've got a lot of work to do before we travel, and so then my mind starts like stacking up like, oh, here's the checklist of things you have to do in the store and all these things and yeah, um, and I don't want to get stressed. I don't want you to get stressed either. I will support you however I can. So I want to do the next thing faithfully and not be stressed. Yeah. That, that's cool. And I think sometimes we have to bring our bar of perfectionism down. So like getting the things done doesn't always mean doing them meticulously perfect. That doesn't mean being careless but getting it done. Like, when we leave the house for this trip, technically I'd like to get everything like completely spick and span, but I've got a lot on my mind right now, and if I can't get the baseboards dusted in the kitchen, like, it's fine. So kind of letting go of Can that. I just clarify something? Is it spick and span or sp spick and spam? Oh. <laughs> It's span? Span. All my life I've said spick and span. <laughs> Honey! That's amazing! I know. Almost 11 years into marriage and I just learned something new. I'm learning new things I, Well, day. I will say I don't think I say that, but I think in my mind, it's spick and spam. <laughs> oh my gosh, so you literally thought I was just like saying it wrong? No, I was like, oh, as soon as Susie said it, I was like, I think I've been saying that wrong. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for popping in for a Monday yes. morning chat. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night.